from Fender. Have you ever wanted to combine one of your favorite interests, guitars, with one of your other favorite interests, toy cars? Well, now you can! Introducing the Hot Wheels inspired series from the Fender Custom Shop. Ah, but we've got one more question for you. Have you ever wanted to spend so much money on a toy themed guitar that people will question your sanity when you tell them how much you spent? Yes? Well then this is the perfect guitar for you. Hey friends, welcome back to the Guitar Max channel. Okay, so have you guys seen this new Hot Wheels guitar series from Fender? So if you don't know what I'm talking about or if you've just seen a headline or two on this, stick with me here because this is pretty crazy. And look, I just want to start off by saying that I really like Fender. I mean, they're, they're a good company. They've got an amazing history, of course. They make really solid guitars. I love Strats. But honestly, I think if they had announced this new guitar series on April 1st and they didn't do anything else differently, people would think that this was a joke. I mean, this is like, it's borderline satire. So I've got an article here on guitar.com that I'm gonna go through with you guys that, you know, just introduces these new guitars and explains what's going on. And we're gonna look at that. And then I've got another article that has the price breakdown of all of these different guitars. And just to give you a hint of what's coming up, these guitars start at $12 thousand dollars. And yes, the theme of this series of guitars is Hot Wheels, as in the, you know, the, the little toy cars. And I don't know, call me crazy, but I, I feel like these are a bit overpriced. So let's go ahead and get into the article here. Now this is from guitar.com, and as usual, I'm going to have a link for this article down in the video description below. Now, real quick guys, if you like videos like this, of course, staying up on, on all the latest guitars and all the latest guitar news in the guitar universe, and you have not already subscribed, please consider subscribing right now. But let's go ahead and take a look at this. So here's the headline from guitar.com. Fender and Mattel partner for 16 one-of-a-kind custom shop Hot Wheels guitars starting at $12,000. Starting at $12,000. It goes on here. Fender has announced that its custom shop has partnered with Mattel, the, the famous toy manufacturer, for a collection of 16 one-of-a-kind master-built guitars, all with designs inspired by the classic die-cast Hot Wheels toy cars. The idea for the collection format came from last year's Surf Green with MV collection, which saw the custom shop all working within the constraints of using Surf Green in some way. This time, the brief was to design a guitar around one particular Hot Wheels car. So each of these guitars is based around a particular Hot Wheels car. That's the inspiration for the guitar designs. They go on here. We are, uh, this is a quote here from uh, Fender's Mike Lewis. We're honored to be working with Mattel to bring this Hot Wheels collection to life. For years, we've taken a deep source of inspiration from the automobile industry, and with such a unique take on cars, Hot Wheels has always, was always a dream partner. Each builder crafted their own guitar with world class creativity and we can't wait for people globally to see these collectible products. Collectible, I think, is the key word there. Now look, I don't want to speculate too much here, but when he says Hot Wheels was always a dream partner, I don't know, I feel like that's maybe a little bit of an exaggeration for the benefit of the marketing here. But anyway, let's go on. Hot Wheels global head of design, Ted Wu, added, the Hot Wheels team is thrilled to create such a special collection of guitars with the global leaders of musical instruments at Fender Custom Shop. Both of our brands trace their roots back to California with Hot Wheels embodying SoCal car culture and Fender synonymous with Los Angeles rock and roll. We can't wait for artists and car enthusiasts alike to see these one-of-a-kind designs. See them? Absolutely. Buy them? Hmm. Now it says, while the guitar's inspiration is certainly kid-friendly, their price tags are anything but, starting at a rather hefty $12,000. All 16 earn that price tag, however, with a bevy of ultra-premium opponents, including gorgeously figured woods, ebony fretboards, top-of-the-line pickups, and hardware. Well, I certainly hope so. Now it goes on here. 
While the collection mainly spans shapes such as Stratocasters and Telecasters, there is the notable inclusion of the Katana. This shape is a little like an offset V that's had the space between its horns filled in. It first appeared in 1985, and despite it not exactly being at the forefront of Fender's historic model since, it's made a few appearances since. For example, last August, Fender Japan resurrected the bass guitar version of the shape for a signature model for Hama Okamoto. Now we're going to check out the exact prices of these different models and check some of these out, uh, but it's got an interesting thing at the end of the article here. It says, the collaboration is not the first time Fender has partnered with Mattel. Last year, the two brands joined together for the new Barbie movie, Barbie Big City Big Dreams. Fender added two of the movie's original songs, See You at the Finish Line and Before Us, to its Play Learning app. Then at the very end here, it says, the brand spoke about the time, I think they mean at the time, of its hopes for partnering with Barbie. CMO Evan Jones said, we want young women to see they can be anything, whether it's a guitar player, songwriter, producer, or any other career in the music industry. So clearly, you know, making Barbie guitars is the only way to do that. Anyway, I have to be honest, I was not aware of the Fender Barbie collaboration. I missed that somehow, and I, I try to stay up on these things. Okay, but now let's look at these actual guitars. So for that, I'm going to go over to carscoops.com. They've got a really good article here where they, they really break down all these different guitars and the prices for each one. Now they've got an example right up on the top here, kind of a army green, uh, you know, this is the, uh, you know, like a Flying Tigers uh, paint job here, Hot Wheels, of course, uh, example at the top, and then you scroll down a little bit, and you can see that, you know, at least for the many thousands of dollars that you're going to be spending on one of these, it's not just the guitar, but you're getting like, you know, a custom case, and, uh, you know, they've even got some special picks and a guitar strap. All of it matches, right? Now we get to the prices here. So Hot Wheels Mod Rod Strat Dark Blue with Gold Leaf Competition Stripes, $14,000. This one here, Hot Wheels Night Shifter Fretless Precision Bass, Black and Blue Competition Stripes, $16,500. And then they've got another bass here, Hot Wheels Bone Shaker Precision Bass. At least they gave these things cool names, flat black with bone shaker graphic, $15,500. It goes on here. Here's a Tele, $14,500. Here's another Strat, $15,500. On another Strat, the Hot Wheels Bullwhip Strat, Strat, $16,500. And now a Tele, oh, this is a good, this was a, like a bargain here, $12,750. It, the, it goes on here, 13,000, 12,000, 13,000, 14,000, 14,500, 13,000. They're all in, oh, I'm sorry, the Katana, the one that's like, oh, that's interesting. That's only 10,500. That's, that's the real, you know, bottom of the barrel one uh, of the series here. And at the end here, you can see they've got the car that it was based off of and then the guitar itself. So you can see how they, you know, they match the hardware and the, the paint job and everything to match the car. Okay, now look, let's, let's talk about this here. What, to me, is so bizarre about this, it's not that, you know, the Fender Custom Shop is taking inspiration from somewhere and doing, you know, a, a few one-off guitars that are really unique and different. Like they did Game of Thrones themed guitars a while back. You know, those came out pretty cool with, you know, different like leather tops and that kind of stuff. To me, what's so bizarre about this is the particular combination. The fact that you're combining toys that, you know, you would play with as a kid and you would leave out on the carpet and then your mom would step on it and get mad at you. Those kinds of toys with a modern guitar and then charging, you know, $15,000 for something like that. that to me, that's, that's a very weird concept. Now, there have been a lot of companies over the years that have done, you know, uh, guitar collaborations like this, where they collaborate with a company and, you know, they have like a cool graphic on the, on the guitar or something. But it's like a guitar that's a few hundred dollars, certainly less than a thousand dollars. And I think people usually buy these guitars 
more as something to hang on your wall. It's more of a collector's item, right? Because honestly, a lot of these things, I think, end up looking kind of cheesy. And so it's something that you can justify having certainly as a collector. But the idea that somebody is going to pay $15,000 for a Strat with Hot Wheels graphics on it because they liked Hot Wheels cars and then they're going to actually use this guitar to play on stage like, hey, look at me with my cool Hot Wheels guitar, you know, that I spent $15,000, like you would never do that in a million years. So to me, the big question is, who's the market for this stuff? Like who's actually going to buy these guitars or who does Fender think is going to buy these guitars? I mean, it, it must be only for collectors. Like, look, I used to see a guy, you know, here in Los Angeles, at, he'd be playing in shows and he was shredding on a Hello Kitty guitar, like a Hello Kitty Strat. And it was funny, right? Because it was like a metal show and he's like shredding and playing metal on this pink Hello Kitty guitar. It, it was a gag, right? It was like, it was fun. But he didn't spend $16,000 on a Hello Kitty guitar. And don't get me wrong, I mean, I'm not making fun of how these guitars came out. I mean, they do look pretty cool. And there are, you know, this, this sort of taking the inspiration, it led to some really interesting designs with these guitars, but the prices are just nuts. I mean, why go on Craigslist and buy a used Corvette when for the same money you can buy a guitar that is loosely based on a Corvette? But look, guys, do you, do you think I have this completely wrong? I mean, what do you guys think about this? I always value my audience's opinion on these things, especially these, these news items. So I really want to I really want to hear what you guys think about this. Uh, do you think I'm way off the mark here or do you agree with me that it's just totally bonkers that they're putting this stuff out for these prices? Um, you know, as always guys, I'm going to have links down in the video description below if you want to check out the original articles and everything. But yeah, this stuff is so crazy. I mean, it's so crazy. It's almost as if Fender only did this just so people would talk about it and, and keep their name in the headlines. Hmm.